Hello guys and welcome to another video. Uh, today, there's something a bit different on the old uh, mountain bike because uh, I gave the old uh, Vetus back to the team on Sunday and uh, haven't got a road bike so uh, I'm building mine up. It should be done for tomorrow and I've got the uh, standard chain gang to do then. And uh, yeah, yesterday was my first proper ride back since the crash. So it's been about 10 days and I did uh, a good Madison practice uh, yesterday. So that was pretty good. Just uh, the body was just like, whoa, what are you doing? And uh, yeah, just a bit of a shock system, but it's good. And uh, I should have some decent fitness fairly soon. Yeah, what I'm gonna try and do, what I tried last year, I tried to do some, some regular vlogs, but I think I held myself, uh, I put too much pressure on myself to make them, you know, do cool edits and what I thought was funny. Um, funny little bits in the videos and I just couldn't like maintain that so I'm gonna try now as a few people have suggested is uh <laughs> try and do regular vlogs but just don't uh don't go crazy on the edit so I might put something different in the thumbnail so it's obvious that it's just a uh, it's just gonna be like me speaking to the camera and uh just clips put together I'm not gonna do many crazy edits for these just because it takes quite a lot of time and uh it takes the creative juices to be flowing and they're not always flowing um yeah Anyway, so like I said, I've got five weeks, T minus five weeks until uh, land on the sixth day, which uh, we've confirmed now doing that, which is going to be really awesome with Tom. We're, we're really looking forward to it and we're hoping, assuming I can get my fitness back, uh, that we should be able to get a decent result, which would be really fun. So we're doing that and then, like I said, Saturday, National Madison and Sunday, National Omnium to finish off the season. And uh, yeah, looking forward to that. Like I said, doing an hour easy on the mountain bike today and hopefully I should be able to finish my... Uh, my old my build for my road bike tomorrow. I'll give you a rundown of that. So it's a couple of days later now, and uh, yeah, just been out for a decent round of uh, riding over the weekend six and a half hours which considering I uh, only just started riding is uh, fairly good. Did my local chain gang on Saturday. No one turned up apart from uh, one of my mates so uh, just let him tow me around because uh, yeah my legs were not good and then today just three hours zone two trying to keep below uh, a certain heart rate and uh, my heart was high honestly. It felt uh, yeah it felt off my heart rate. I could have got to one, 150 heart rate at like 100 watts. It was, it was really weird. So uh, yeah hopefully I'm getting there but my legs they're, they're pretty pretty messed up now so uh, hopefully a day of recovery and then they'll just slowly start getting back up pretty quickly and uh, anyway I haven't shown you the new whip that I'm actually riding at the moment because I uh, had to give my beaters pack last weekend so this is the uh, the supreme it's a uh, legitimate supreme obviously I don't I don't have any fakes no I'm joking it's a giant TCR the one that I was using a couple years ago and uh, I painted it silver Eight hours later. So I've uh, finished sanding down the frame. I could go all the way to the carbon, but I've just sanded it down to pretty much the, uh, just to get rid of the logos and the majority of the thickness of the paint. And uh, yeah, just make sure everything's uh, scratched up a bit so the new paint will stick to it. Then uh, mask all the uh, bearing covers like that, done all the bolt holes and the, uh, the dropouts. And uh, then just giving it a good clean with alcohol to uh, make sure there's no uh, grease from the hands because even if your hands are clean, there's always going to be um, moisture and grease from your hands. So clean it with alcohol with a bit of a paper towel, and uh, or it should be a lint-free cloth, but you know we don't have one of them. Same with the forks. Mask that all up, and uh, now we're ready to paint. As you can see and I've just supremed it up uh, I think it looks pretty cool um, it's a bit of a meme but you know it's still pretty funny and uh, yeah it actually looks all right in my opinion um, oh and also as you can see there's two chain rings but I am in fact one by no cable there and the reason why there's no cable there is because this is my shifter it's a great piece of kit it's just a, it's a little bit old but you know 
it's not a, it's, it's, it's seen better days. Uh, it doesn't shift anymore, but braking works fine, so that's all good. I'll stop safely. And uh, of course, the ISM, because if there's one thing I learned this year, it's that once you start riding one of these saddles, you can't go back because the aero position they allow you to get, it, you can't you can't do it on other saddles unless you want to just, yeah. Yeah, it's not comfy on other saddles because you can just get uh, bent over really far forward in a nice aggressive aero position, so that's that. Anyway, yeah, that's the bike I'm riding at the moment. And uh, fun times. Anyway, that's going to be the end of the video. Like I said, I'm doing these uh, short and sweet little vlogs. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Thank you.